Tombstone, Arizona, according to DiscoverTombstone.com, has never been the wild gun-toting shoot-em-up place it was made out to be. It was very modern, sophisticated, and extremely wealthy. Telephones were installed in Tombstone in 1882. By 1883, the city had two gas companies, three water companies, two ice companies, and five ice cream parlors. Fresh seafood was delivered daily from Baja, Mexico. But then the fires came and almost everything burned down. But Tombstone really is the town that is too tough to die. And the people here were resilient. And they started actually rebuilding the town the day after the fire. Not everything in the city was destroyed by the fire. Some of the buildings were only moderately damaged, like this one right here. Others were completely destroyed. Others were built after the fact and stand abandoned today. Today we're gonna to take a look at some of Tombstone's historic buildings. That's coming up right now on Desert Sky Adventures. The Birdcage Theater was built in 1881 by Billy and Lottie Hutchinson on the site of the killing of Marshal Fred White. And yes, that did happen here, not here. After the fire of 1881, it became the only theater in Tombstone except Shiflin Hall. We'll check out Shiflin Hall in just a little bit. Birdcage has had different names over the years, including the Elite and the Olympic, but closed as a theater in 1892. This is the original 1881 building. I've had people ask me, what are those buildings that were once attached to the birdcage? I wasn't sure, so I wanted to get it straight from the horse's mouth. Well, one was a tailor shop, and it was all stick and wood. Huh. It was all wood. That was and the one over here, right? Yeah. And then the yeah. one over here was a restaurant. Oh, okay, both cool. Both of them were destroyed in, during the fire of 1881. Huh, but this building survived. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Birdcage Theater is arguably the most iconic building in the Old West, and it survived, somehow, both fires. Shiflin Hall is one of the largest standing adobe structures still existent in the United States. It was built in 1881 by Albert Shiflin, brother of Tombstone founder Ed Shiflin, and William Harwood, and it was a first-class opera house, theater, recital hall, and a meeting place for Tombstone citizens. Upon its completion on June 8, 1881, it became the largest, most elaborate theater between El Paso, Texas and San Francisco, California. The seating capacity was 450 on the parquet, with a gallery capacity of another 125. The building became the hub of entertainment and social events in Tombstone, with formal balls and theatrical performances. The hall was scorched by the fire of 1882, but survived. Today, it is used for city council meetings, local social gatherings, fundraisers, and theatrical performances. The building was placed on the National Register of Historic Places on October 15, 1966. Now make yourself a mental note of this magistrate court door. In just a little bit, we'll see what's on the other side of it. Shiflin Hall is generally not open to the public, and this is actually my first time going inside this building, but just past the main doors is this grand lobby, a piano, there's also a scale model of 1881 Tombstone. But I gotta say, when I laid eyes on this 140-year-old opera house for the very first time, I was blown away. In 1963, after sitting abandoned for nearly half a century and decades of deterioration, the hall was saved by the Tombstone Adventurers, an organization formed solely to restore the town's landmarks. The building was then donated to the city in 1979. was allowed to film the rarely seen backstage area. I 
got to see the view from this amazing stage that was used by performers well over a century ago. I was also able to see the dressing room area, which is reportedly the most haunted part of the building. Tombstone City Council meetings still take place here. I was also able to see a part of the building that has been completely unrestored. Although as I understand it, it will be soon restored. But in this part of the building you can see some of the original Dobie. As well as some of the original 1881 wallpaper, still here. The original Dobie bricks can be seen through the damaged wall here. Truly an amazing area. This was the old Magistrate Court, and there's the other side of that door we were talking about earlier. The ceilings were hand-painted. The woodworking and craftsmanship throughout the entire hall is just exquisite. Shiflin Hall, a very historic and very beautiful addition to Tombstone's historic buildings. The Gerd Block was composed of three two-story adobe buildings built on this site in 1879 and 1880. The hearing into the gunfight between the Earps, Doc Holliday, and the Clantons and McLowrys was held here in 1882. In 1902, it was converted into the Nobles Hotel, and by 1929, the building had fallen due to neglect. Today that space, which is located right next to Shiflin Hall, is a parking lot. This was also the original location of the Tombstone Epitaph newspaper. Tombstone Epitaph is still in operation today, but they've moved right around the corner. Tombstone's original City Hall building opened in 1882 and was built in the territorial Western Victorian style. The building has had several uses through the years, but today it's the Tombstone Marshal's office. And this is another building that's typically off limits to the public, and another building I have not been into before. So I thought maybe if we went inside and asked them nicely, they might be willing to let us take a look around. To me, this is one of the most amazing buildings in Tombstone. This building is over 100 years old, but today has all the modern amenities needed to operate a law enforcement agency. At one time, this was Tombstone Firehouse Number 2, and these are the original firehouse doors. That's an original staircase and an original closet door. But other than this and just a handful of other items, and and the building has been thing. mostly renovated. And this is one of the, you know, historic buildings, so... I wasn't sure if there was any cool stuff inside to show people or not. <laughs> hey, that'll be that'll be cool. Oh, that's in the original. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the original Marshall's office that's right behind us. Yeah, let me Okay. Cool. Appreciate it. Luckily for us, they were willing to show us this very old and very cool building. Right. <laughs> it's, uh, this is evidence we can't come down there. No problem. Um, this is the old safe she was talking about. Um, we just got to get somebody to come in and do a master reset on it. Wow. 
Um, and when it opens up, you've got the, oh, these. So I'm guessing this is original. Yeah. Wow. Wonder what they used to keep in there. Um. So we. I mean, right now there's packing materials. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you can go Christmas and stuff. There. I don't <laughs> if you need the light. I can turn the light, my flashlight. But oh, that's okay. I don't know. I don't believe the lights actually work in there. The marketing office. Uh, sergeant's office. Oh wow! This is. So this was this was all redone. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what year I've been here a year, but this was all redone. Um, it used to just be a little small shack building against that wall that fell down over there. Mm -hmm. um, equipment area. And we have the filing area. Body cams and any if we need like first aid stuff, training batons, anything like that. So this room was, came out really nice. Um, yeah. We have our, our war room. We do conferences in here. I think we still have, have the TV up and maps of the area and stuff. We have it's our, our Intel analyst office, our interview room. Wow. Another map of, the, of our zones. Um, to include the historical district. Kitchen that up here as well in the restroom. And then this actually, this goes up to the old bell tower. Oh, wow. So you go up here, you go outside, and then you have the old bell tower up there. That's pretty. I was not expecting it to look like this in here at all. Yeah, the old one used to be, like I said, really small, little building, uh, wood, everything. Everything inside was, was wood, desk, walls, everything just looked like wood. Yeah. Uh, we'll, go down here. We'll, go, we'll go outside into, so you can see the old part back here. Okay. Which actually the city's going to be redoing because the railings are, the woods are starting to get old. Yeah. Um, and then we can go in the back and see the old uh, jail cell evidence booking here and that stuff. Obviously, we usually have more police cars here. Um, th all this right here is the, the old setup. Like I said, it is. The wood's starting to deteriorate, but we are. Uh, Hopefully when they get all the materials in, we'll get it all revamped to look the same. Just new wood, new paint. Yeah. And that's the second entrance to go down to the basement. Um, I think at one time, I believe this to be uh, a firehouse in the front part. Mm -hmm. That's what they were telling me, yeah. Yeah. So that's our evidence custodian's office. She's got her little... She's got hers locked too. Uh, restroom storage area. This has kind of got the older, the older wood look. They didn't, they didn't really refab any of the downstairs stuff. Um, and then the old cell. So let me actually let me close this door. You might want to get a picture of this. Okay. Door. Imagine being locked up in here. Oh yeah. And then the old cell. Um, there used to actually be, and then you got the port where you can hand stuff through, which is kind of funny because yeah, you can <laughs> hand stuff through anyway. And this and is a the old key that yeah. probably would have went to that door, I believe. <laughs> this original cell. Uh, this is. And there was one here as well, uh, but they, they tore this one out and turned it into our evidence collection area. So we have all of our stuff in here. We can actually put our, our uh, 
tablets here, mm -hmm. and then we can just connect right here with the breathalyzer for DUIs. We have all of our evidence collection and tagging. Uh, we have the photo ID for your picture for booking right here on the wall. Um, fingerprinting we still do by ink. So, do the fingerprint cards for any arrests that are made. Wow. Um, How often do people get arrested in Tombstone? Oh, uh, quite often. Like every day? <laughs> quite often, yeah, probably. Um, evidence storage lockers, this is temporary. So anytime we bring something in, we put it in here, and then um, she comes twice a week, and she'll take everything out and take full inventory and place it where it needs to go. And this hasn't been fixed yet, but this actually goes up into the outside. This is kind of like a safe room. You can see the mm -hmm. old wood down there at the bottom. Wow. Looks like a... Let's see if I can get some light. That's pretty cool. And then let's come back around. This is our... I don't have a key for this, but this is where we keep all of our ammunition and uh, extra uh, duty weapons. Mm -hmm. um, it's all locked in here. It's double locked. Makes sense. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool room. But I don't think... I think the only two people that have keys to that... As a matter of fact, I know the only two people that have keys to that are the marshal and the evidence tech. Mm -hmm. she's, she had to go uh, to the academy to teach today, so... Pretty gorgeous now. It's got a that's a whole new piece. They actually that's refurbished and they just sanded it down and painted it. Wow, um, I think they got that second hand. It's really nice. Yeah, well, that'll happen. The main entranceway. Wow, cool, very cool. You, what's your name, sir? I'm Tim Before. Tim Before. I'm Dave. All right, does the Sky Adventures YouTube. Awesome. Thank you for showing us around. You don't mind being in the video, do you? No, no, okay, cool. <laughs> I always like to make sure I get people's permission. Not a problem at all. But yeah, this is awesome, man. I've never been in this building. Yeah, before. this stuff they're working on, it's a uh, because it's brick. Mm -hmm. um, some of the some of the, the water will come down and seep. So yeah, it's all seepage. They were able to fix all the issues upstairs. Um, this is gonna have to be like a a sealant, scrape this inside, and then like redo the wall. Wow. So I have to remod that part. All right. Well, thanks again for showing us around. No I definitely appreciate your knowledge yeah. on the building. I hope you have a great day. Yeah, you too, sir. Thank you. Don't let that spider get you. The old city hall building. All the modern technology dressed in an 1880s facade. And Halloween decor. The Southern Pacific Train Depot was completed in 1903. And it served the citizens of Tombstone until the railway ended in 1961. This is the original 1903 building. The old Cochise County Courthouse was completed in 1882, and if you're a regular on this channel, you've seen the inside of this building many times. The courthouse is today a giant museum, and it is, in my opinion, one of the more beautiful buildings in Tombstone, still standing. If you're in the Tombstone area, you can explore this entire building on your own for a $7 fee. Stone Engine Company number one opened up in 1881. The building has had many uses over the years, including a senior center and theater. But this is the original structure, worn but still standing. Tombstone also has its share of abandoned buildings that are still standing. One of them is the old Tombstone High School. Old Tombstone High School serves students from the areas of Fairbanks, Gleason, Huachuca City, and Tombstone. Its main building was built in 1922. In 1951, a new gym was built. A few years later, modern dressing rooms were added. A new industrial arts building was completed in 1963. In 1970s, in addition, the gym and the band room and sports activity room. A new high school was completed and opened in 2006, and the old high school has been abandoned since around that time. It was rumored for a while that the old high school was going to become an 1880s hotel, but something must have fallen through that didn't end up happening.
I have been wanting to film inside this old school for quite some time, but I cannot do that because they have finally sold the school. So whoever the new owner is, if you're watching, hit me up on Instagram. The first business in Tombstone was opened right here, and later on in 1881, the Adobe Bank was built. And it became a medical clinic in about 1945. Today, it operates as the Tombstone Visitor Center, still serving the community. This is the original 1881 building. If you happen to be in Tombstone, just come on in to the Visitor Center anytime you want. They are more than happy to answer any questions you might have. This building has the original floors. find a lot of information about the building that now houses the OK Cafe, but I do know that back in the day it used to be a Texaco gas station, and I believe before that, an Ivy gas station. Today the OK Cafe is a local favorite when it comes to breakfast and lunch spots, and it's a little building, but the food is really good. In September of 1880, a new adobe structure, the luxurious Grand Hotel, opened for business. The hotel burned in the 1882 fire that left only the adobe walls standing. After the fire, a new building was erected that housed three businesses, two on the first floor and one in the basement. But then in May of 1924, a fire wiped out most of that structure. When it was rebuilt, the old adobe facade became a functional part of the structure. In the 1970s, it became Big Nose Kate Saloon. Charred wood beams, charred adobe walls, and arches from yesteryear remain part of the structure. I'm not sure if any actual photos of the Grand Hotel exist, but this is believed to be a photo of the Grand Hotel, that tall building on the left. Myers Brothers Clothing and Huachuca Water Company moved into this new building in 1881. Later, it became a popular saloon called the Bucket of Blood. In 1909, it was remodeled into a tourist hotel, and in 1928, it became the Owl Cafe and Tourist Hotel. The historic building burned in a fire in 1942. The new building was erected in 1950, and in the 1970s, it became the Longhorn Restaurant, which is rumored to be the longest continually operating restaurant in Arizona. The Occidental Hotel used to stand on the corner of 4th and Allen Street. It was completed in 1883. And on September 22nd, 1888, at 1 o'clock in the morning, the hotel was destroyed by fire. The ruins of Occidental Hotel remain on the site for almost 19 years. The debris was cleared off the lot in April of 1907. Today, there's a bookstore at that location. The tall building in the foreground on the right-hand side was known as the Golden Eagle Brewery. And after the May 1882 fire, it was rebuilt and renamed the Crystal Palace Saloon, which is on the northwest corner of 5th and Allen Street. What originated as the 1879 Golden Eagle Brewery later became the Crystal Palace Saloon. It reinvented itself as a theater for a little while, and after Prohibition was back in business as a full-time saloon. The Crystal Palace still operates to this day. The Russ House actually survived both of the 1880s fires, but in 1959, the building was completely gutted by another fire. Fortunately, the exterior adobe walls were left standing, similar to Big Nose Kate's saloon. The San Jose House on Fremont Street was built in 1879, was Tombstone's first boarding house. It's also one of Tombstone's oldest structures. Luckily, it survived the fires and is still here to this day. Buildings of Tombstone. I want to give a special thanks to my friends at Tombstone City Hall who uh, made a lot of the interior shots of for this video possible. A lot of the stuff we saw is not open to the public, so 
so I had to get special permission to go in there and film. But everybody involved with the city and the marshal's office is super cool about it. So they're more than happy to give us a little tour around the facility. But I hope you found the video both entertaining and educational. And if you did, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really helps us out and doesn't cost you a thing. So from all of us here at Tombstone, Arizona, until next time, everybody, see you down the road.